Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about variables and functions. We've kind of already been using these throughout the previous videos, but here we're just going to talk about them specifically. So let's start with variables. Variables are things that can represent uh, data types. Usually they're uh, words, words, words slash words. Let's change that. Uh, that can represent data types. So, you know, we've done stuff like var, uh, string, we'll just say string variable equals, um, this is a string, very, or this is a string or whatever. Uh, I'm just making stuff up as I go. Uh, so let's console log the string variable here. Uh, string variable. Now if I console log that, it'll show up here because this variable here is representing this string here. You can do it with any other, um, let's just say variable. You can do it with any data type. So we can put a number here. If we console log that, uh, well, I can change this to variable. Variable, I can change this to a uh, Boolean, like true. I can change this to a array, one, two, three, four. That'll show up there. Uh, you can also update variables. So if I wanted to change, so right now variable is equal to one, two, three, four. If I want to change it, uh, I can just do variable equal. So I don't need to redeclare the var up here. If I want to change it to new variable, so now it's a string, we can just do that. And it is now a new variable. Or we can say variable equals maybe just another array or something, one, two. Then you are basically changing that array. Um, Next topic is going to be copy versus reference. Uh, let me get rid of these for now. So something that's interesting about variables is when you are assigning a array or object to a variable, it's going to assign a reference of that array or object, whereas everything else uh, is going to be a copy of it. And this is important because reference means that you're not actually assigning a uh, new thing to that variable. You're assigning the same or the same object. So for example, uh, let me, well, let's start with copy. So if I say uh, var string is equal to first string, and then uh, let's say a string, let's make another string. This is gonna be second, or let's make string one equal to string. Now, if I change string one, so let's, right now, if I console log string one, it's going to be string, which is going to be, it's going to log this first string, because this is what string one is equal to, it's equal to string, which is equal to first string, and that'll show up there. Now if I change string one to be something else, uh, new string, string one is going to be new string now, but string is still going to be first string, because here we are assigning a copy of string to string one, we're not actually assigning this same thing there. So this is receiving a copy. Whereas for arrays and objects, it's going to be a little bit different. You're assigning a reference. Let me just kind of show you what happens if you do that. So let's say var array or r equals one, two, three. And let's say var array one or r one equals uh, array here or array here. So let's log array one. It's going to be equal to one, two, three. And also r is going to be equal to one, two, three. Um, but now if I change array one, let's say array one uh, dot push, if I do like an array method, uh, so these, so R right here, the array right here is assigned to this and it's a reference to, this is a reference to that. So this is actually going to be referring to this. So if I change array one, it's also going to change the array here. So if I do push um, four, so I'm going to add four. So if I log array one, we're going to have the four at the end there. But now if I log the regular array without the one, it's also going to have that four there. And if I change this to a five, it's going to mutate that first array because uh, we're assigning a reference of array to array one rather than a copy of it. Um, so that's important because if you mess with array one, it's going to also mess with array. So that's important to know. Um, if you don't want it to mess with array, you can uh, assign a copy of that with which is something that map would do, or there's methods that you can use to copy it. But just know that um, if you're messing with array one, you're gonna see side effects that happen with array here. Same thing with objects. 
Uh, so that's important to know. With uh, variables, uh, JavaScript is read from the top to the bottom, and so you can't use a variable before it's declared. So let's say I have a um, let's say I have variable uh, test here. Let's just call that test variable. So here I am logging test variable below. So I've already declared it, and I'm logging it below the variable, which will work. Uh, but if I tried to uh, log it above this variable, let's say up here, uh, the variable has not been declared in this top to bottom yet. It's declared below it, so it's not going to work. It's undefined because we haven't defined it yet, whereas if we move it underneath here, it will now be defined as the test variable. So make sure you declare variables um, above where you are using them. Uh, functions now. Functions are extremely powerful. Functions perform actions when they are called. Um, there are two different ways to write functions, which we'll get to um, down here, I guess. But let's just start writing some functions. Uh, you can assign variables to functions. So this is going to be the express uh, expression way of declaring functions, or expression way of writing functions. So let's say of our func, we're just naming it, oh, let's name it, um, this is a function. Just so you know that func isn't some special word that we're using. We can use any word we want here and we're going to write it by writing a function here. And I'm going to just have empty parentheses there. Um, we'll talk about what can go into these parentheses when we talk about parameters and arguments. Let's say, uh, so we can have this function do whatever we want. Uh, let's have it, uh, let's take away this for now. Uh, let's just have it, we'll do two different things in here. Well, first we'll have it log um, this function has been called. So now if we run this function, it should perform this action, which is log this function has been called. Now how do we call a function? We first use the variable that we've assigned to it, and then we put empty parentheses after it. Uh, well, just parentheses after it in this case, because we have nothing in here. So now we've officially called it. Now if we reload the page, this is going to call this function, which is going to log this function has been called. And indeed, that has happened. We don't need a log stuff in here. We can do anything we want. Uh, let's say we have, uh, we, can call it, we can call an alert. Uh, alert, which is going to show a pop up here. So that function is calling an alert now. Uh, we can have it um, return. Uh, functions can also return values, which won't actually log anything. Let's say return 2 plus 4. Uh, so if we want to, so right, we won't see anything because return doesn't actually log anything. But if we console log this called function here, uh, since we're calling it and this is returning 2 plus 4, this thing together is going to be equal to whatever this is returning. So it's going to be equal to 6. So this should be logging 6 there, and it does that. Uh, so that is the basics of how you write a function. Let's talk about parameters and arguments now. Um, let's move this down here. So parameters are uh, things that you can put in this parentheses to show what you can pass into the function. So let's say uh, we can let's say let's name two parameters number one and number two, and so they just kind of define what you can pass into the function. Now instead of returning two plus four. Let's return, uh, let's console log to make it easier. Uh, console log. Now you can do whatever you want with these uh, things up here. So these are the things that you can pass in. So what is going to happen when we call this is a function is we're going to do console log number one plus number two. And now we're going to call this function. Now instead of um, passing, just using empty parentheses here, we're going to pass in arguments. So arguments are what you pa are what you pass into a function. The parameters define what you can pass into it. Arguments are what you actually do pass into it. So let's pass in uh, number one. Let's make it three. Number two. Let's make it eight. And so what this is going to do? It's going to take three plus eight, and it's going to log three plus eight here. And that we should see an eleven in the console, which we do. If we want to do something like uh, number one times number two, we can do that as well. Uh, we can also combine variables and functions. Let's say we have var count is equal to zero. Uh, when we call the function, it's going to do, uh, let's do 
count equals count plus uh, five, or count plus number one, and let's just do one variable there. So you don't have to log or return anything. Let's get rid of this number two here. Let's leave this as, uh, let's make this five here. So now we have a zero here. Let's make this two. Just So we have a count here too, and then we want to add a number one, which is going to be five. So we should see a seven here. Just showing you, uh, oh, we need a log. We need a console log uh, count now. So now the new count value is going to be seven because we have added a five to it. Um, let's see. If we call this more than one time, let's call it again with a seven, or let's make it an eight here. You should have a two plus five plus eight now because we're updating the value of count. We are, uh, yeah, just updating it. So you can do whatever you want with functions. They're super powerful. Uh, let's talk about declaration versus expression now. Um, so usually with, so this right here is an expression way of writing a function. You're uh, assigning a function to a variable. And so we can call it, uh, we can use it anywhere below where we've defined the variable, defined the function, but we cannot call the function uh, before we've declared it. So if I put this as a function up here, it's not going to work because we haven't defined the variable yet. We should have an error here. This is a function is not a function because we haven't defined it yet. But if we move it below here, it will work because we've defined it. There is a way around it by using declaration um, functions, which is a, just a different format of writing functions. So let's uh, do that right now. Let me just comment this stuff out right here. Um, let's put it down here. So the way that you write a declaration the way that you declare a function is you put function first and then you put the variable. So let's say declared function um, and let's just have it console log uh, declared function. So now obviously if we, with this, I don't think we usually need a semicolon down there. Uh, yeah, it's unneeded or it's, you don't really, it, it doesn't really matter if you have it or not, but um, it's just convention to have it for variables, but not for this. So now if we use it, obviously we can call it below because we've defined it already. So we should see a log of declared function there. But the unique thing about declared functions is that you can actually call them before you have uh, written it because what this does is it, uh, de declaring a function will hoist it to the top. And so it's gonna run at the way beginning. And so, uh, you can see that declared function is still getting logged even though I'm writing this function below where I'm calling it. And so this can be useful at times. So just know that there's two different ways to write functions. Um, this way, this one kind of does some weird things behind the scenes. It hoists it to the top, but just know that you can do that. And then one final thing before we finish up this video, we're going to talk about um, local versus global variables. And you might be wondering why I'm going back to variables after having talked about them before functions. And that's because uh, local variables are variables that you declare or that you define inside of a function and they cannot be accessed outside of that function. So for example, if I have a variable, um, global variable right here equals hello, I can access that here. Let me console log that. Uh, so I can access that and it'll be hello there. But if I create a function, let's say, um, let's just use the hoisting one, uh, cool function, function, blah, I'm just making stuff up. Uh, that's the name of the function. And then we're going to declare a local variable in here equals, say, local variable. Now, we're, right, we're declaring a, function, a variable up here, and it's below... We're, when we're going to be using it. So we're trying to access it. We've already declared it up here, but since it's inside of a function, it is local to this function. And so we cannot access it outside of that function. So if I try to log local variable, it's going to be a uh, local variable is not defined. But if I try to access it inside of the function, I can because now I'm in the local scope. And this is called scope. Let's put that over here. So scope, scope. So this is global scope, this is local scope. Variables inside of a local scope can only be accessed locally. Uh, what's interesting is 
in a local scope, you can still access global variables. So you can still access the global variable up there, which is hello. And so you can see that it will properly log. Uh, oh, I haven't called it. Uh, oh, I guess, yeah, I haven't called it. I need a um, function one blah. Let's call it. Let's go back to the local one because that didn't show up either. So you can see that, uh, oops, uh, it'll log the local variable as well as the global variable here. So uh, we've logged both local variable and hello. So yeah, that's the basics of variables and functions. In the next video, we'll talk about probably uh, loops. So we'll talk about uh, for loops and while loops. And then after that, we'll probably talk about, uh, there's one more, I guess there's conditionals. So if else statements, and then we'll just kind of see what other things I can think of after that. Thanks for watching, have fun, and goodbye for now.